Well, back in my gym, I got my uniform, now I can fight. But let me, let me break it down for you. What is this kick and why is it different than the axe kick? Like I mentioned, if I take a rod, it's an axe kick. But if I go up, let me remind you to think. Before you do this kick, the two steps you want to do. Put your foot out there and see if you can touch your chest. See that? It's touching my chest, opening up my groin. If you can basically do this. And if your pants are allow you, first of all, most of the pants that you guys are wearing right. out there, <laughs> rip up your pants and then you're gonna show your cojones, you don't want that. Uh, so make sure you stretch. So if you can, and so, see, I'm not gonna ask you to stretch in the fight. I'm saying, like, if you can do this, your pants are perfect. Now, what is this? You saw my knee touching the chest. If you can do this, See that? Look at the head on Wow, the... that was like a knee strike. Yes, a knee strike. <laughs> Don't hit your nose. I've seen people knocking out themselves. <laughs> I've seen a guy stretching, hitting his face. Oh, himself so many of you watching this channel, they're going to comment. And they're <laughs> going to go, uh, Coach Maja, thank you very much. Thank I you, just man. knocked myself out. Yeah, bring the knee to the damn shoulder, not to your face. So when you bring the knee to the shoulder, look at, hear the noise, hear the... Yeah, yeah I hear that. Once you do that, now I want to volleyball up. See, so pick up the wall, see the same thing in level. I'm going to hit the volleyball shot. So I go up. See that? I hear two noise. It comes up and I push it forward. Now what it is, I pick up the knee up, I pick up the knee up and I go, I'm uh, hitting okay. through the face. So that's and the I, difference. Yes. So show me what axe kick does with axe your... Axe kick does, that comes down <laughs> on the face. It is, you actually, but this is... It's from the up to the, the down. Face. Yes, if you're on the camera right there, right, don't move. I know it might hit your face. But see, axe kick will be like this. What steps stay there? Axe kick will be like this. As compared to this kick, we'll be like this. Whoa, yeah. So we'll go up and it will go inside. So we'll go up and go in. You'll go forward into the kick. That's why this is almost like a thrust kick. Remember, it's not a ball kick. <clears throat> it's a thrust with your knee goes up and I'm pushing it forward like I'm stepping on his face. I'm using it as a stairway, stepping up to the face. Oh, I see that's what you mean. And what about what about people who are like like not that flexible they're gonna Very like good they're cross. gonna cry about this they're gonna say they're gonna oh great I, i'm watching maja do it i can't do this yeah oh, so if what that's the case you should don't even pick up your legs up <clears throat> you should pick up your hands up and say this is my axe kick <laughs> and slip, hey what's up straight well that you know what that is a reason why a lot of people will say i'll just punch in a fight I just like like I'm, i don't want to kick because i'll lose my balance I, I heard people say oh, break your wrist and the wrist if you break your wrist that means you're not making the fist tight I heard people, oh, if you punch like this, you, you will break your wrist if you don't keep the fist tight. Look at my fist and I'm losing up here. <laughs> at the end, I turn the last minute. <laughs> That's if you see the speed back. It's not, the speed back is when you have a contact, you squeeze your hand. You go, blah, blah, blah. You're not making tight throughout the whole speed back. You're making the tight on the moment of the impact. See, see my arms are loose. The moment of the impact, <laughs> I keep it tight. Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm keeping is keeping it tight at the end of it. And okay. you're so quick, you don't have time to go whole swing. Quick, 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 quick. It hits faster, makes it quick. Well, okay, I, I gotta help these people. So they, they can't do these kicks, or like they're not flexible enough I'm yet. I'm so sorry to hear that. What do they, what, damn, how do they? Come to the damn gym and stick, stay out of right. your ass on the couches. Okay, to the or gym. be nice, be nice, Maja. They're, they're, they're good Guys, people, they're just not you, that flexible. Uh, so how do they get more flexible? What do you do? I, I, I That's I, a whole nother video, I guess. Well, we, that's the key video of a lot of major things. But guys, please, if you do want to watch this show, if you do want to dress nice, and also match up with your dressing. I'm not saying to be extraordinary, but what's the use of very nice clothes if you can't pick up your legs or your Yeah, hands? that's that's the that's main thing. That's horrible, looking nice, so good. I've seen people wearing, dressed up and they have a fight. After five minutes, the shirt's all ripped, the jacket's torn, they can't even fit in the jackets. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. no, this is, this is all great stuff. But I, guess I do want to mention how to practice your knees before you kick. So okay. if, if I'm All here, right, we get some good shit right here. So I'm here, I'm next to the 24 inch table. And if you can see my feet, I'm only about six inches away from the wall. I pick my knee up, watch my knee. When I pass my knee up, I am gonna open up for the ball kick. It's a chamber drill. Look, I'm not leaving that chamber drill. It's called chamber drill. Oh. If you practice your chamber. So, so the box is getting in the way. So if you, so you, if you, if you, if you, you screw it up, you then you need to, and if you're not that flexible for a 24, you just need to like change the box. Yes. Like you we could just, you can we could just flip it, up, it. Flip it up. Oh, we got, oh, this is the more oh, this challenging. Is 
Yeah, right, right there. Back. Ooh, make, sure make contact. Back. Yes, close the back. This is 38. Oh, that's a great close. training. Right, Maja, you're giving away too many secrets uh, now. Uh, Brian, I will make a next level. You want to make a next level? I can do that too. Yeah. We'll uh, go back to 24. Or you can go to 20. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Maja, I'm no, no, no. I'm close. Pick it up. Pick it up. You pick up your knees up. Pick it up. Above the chamber, pick it up. Maja, I can't, I can't give this stuff away. Okay, this is too valuable. Try to control the speed. It's too chamber, valuable. All kicks based in chamber. If you don't have the chamber, you're not a good kicker. You're not a good kicker. That means you bring your legs straight and you hurt yourself. And why is it, why do you have the chamber? Let me tell you, when I'm standing here, I'm a 20, my knees are 24 inches. My knees are here. If I don't bend my leg up, I'll end up breaking my toes on his knees. So when I pass him his knees, I can chamber the kick. That's a close kick. Yes, look. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <clears throat> Round kick. Side kick. Whatever you want. Chamber the knee. Because if I don't chamber it, my toes will jam to his knees and I'll break my toes. So guys. And it's through this training is why you can do what you do. You have to practice your chamber. If you don't, you're just wasting your time. And be relaxed with your arms. Practice what you can. See, I'm comfortable with my clothes. Comfortable. Comfortable. I'll see you guys later.